as, as, as Spence, you know, so I can't really say which fighter prepared me for this fight. I would say all the fighters that I fought prepared, prepared me for this moment. You guys have said that this fight is pretty even. Uh, you guys are fighting the best in each other. What's it going to take, special this time around, to come out of the Well, just me being me. Me going out there, fighting my fight, doing what I want to do, and just being Terrence Crawford. That's it. What Terrence, is your take on them saying that you don't have the resume to fight someone like you? Well, you know, that just shows, you know, the, the lack of knowledge that these people hold when they say that. You know, a lot of people say that I don't have the resume. You know, I just laugh at them and say, okay, you know, come July 29th. It doesn't matter who I fought. I'm fighting you, and then we shall see. Terrence, uh, are you guys still betting the million? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You haven't talked to him about it? You never brought it up or anything in conversation nah, nah, or anything like that? Nah, nah. Well, Terrence, how, how did you become so... Usually with fights like these, you know, and, and opponents like you guys, uh, in the past, you know, it's settled by, you know, at least a rematch or a trilogy. Would you like to see a trilogy? Because usually that's when, you know, the, a boxer goes down in history and it's always, you know, associated with someone else. Well, listen, uh, we got to get past this fight first, and then we can talk about all those other fights. My main focus is this one fight right now. July 29th, Gracie Girl Spence. I'm not looking past them, I'm not looking over here, and I'm not looking for no rematch or trilogy or any of that sort of right now. I'm looking for one out here and defeat Girl Spence July 29th. Do you believe he's the best that you've ever faced? Well, I don't know. I always get that question every time I step foot in the ring with somebody and they say, oh, well, Terrence, this is the best fighter that you ever fought. I can't say that until I draw a fight. You seem real comfortable so talking to uh, to the audience for this fight. What's changed now? Why are you more comfortable speaking to the media? Because I know it's not one of your favorite things to do. I don't know. I guess it's, it's, it's something that you have to do. You know, uh, I never been the type of guy to you know, do a lot of talking. I just went to fight. But you know, I'm coming around. I guess you know, experience and age. Terrence, how did you become so fluid going left or right hand? I talk to people about all the time. They say you're maybe the best they've ever seen do. Well, it was something that I, I was practicing as a little kid. Something that I was been, I've been doing since a youngin, and I just perfected. And how does that work with the southpaw, right? Because you you're able to do it both ways. It works great against right-handers. Uh, have you tried it against the southpaw again? How does turning southpaw right-handed does that mix them up just the same? Have you seen the fight? I'm actually happy. Have you seen me fight a southpaw? Yeah. All right. That's your answer. <laughs> what separates you from him? Well, I think what separates me from him is you know my 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 mental the way. I think the, my ring general shit, my counter ability. I think that's what separates me from him. Do you think it's fair that everybody's using uh, how you finish Porter as opposed to him as the way why you would win? Do you think it's fair when people don't assume that? Because you know how you are the one that stopped Porter as opposed to him? Do you think that's a fair assessment for people to say, well, you're going to be the best because you beat no. Porter better? No, no, styles make fights. I would never say, oh, I'm going to beat this guy because I beat this guy in a better fashion. Because there's been a lot of fighters that beat fighters and then came and lost to a fighter that they beat that beat him. So I would never be the assessment. What do you think is Spence's best win since you guys are comparing resumes a lot? What is Spence's best win? Uh, Spence's best win, I would say, is uh, Sean Porter.